beginning of any of our chassis. This one's actually Brett LaSalle's chassis. So just kind of, this is the beginning stages of everything. Uh, so we always make sure jig table's clean, level, everything. It tends to move around place to place. So always got to re-level it for depending on what we're doing. But right now, uh, I've just gotten done leveling it and everything, setting the clamps up for his chassis, all that. So this is essentially kind of what we do. We use these protractors and I lay out where I put the protractor on like kind of key spots on the jig. So these are kind of interesting. So you can flip them like, you know, this way and this way. Well, when you do that, they tend to read different numbers. So if you're gonna end up chasing yourself unless you stay consistent all the way around it. So I always write on here which way I have the screen facing. So I always keep it consistent. Like when I start, I always have the screen facing forwards all the way up the jig. And then uh, when I'm doing the front to back, I'll have it facing left to right, doesn't matter which. This, in this case, I've got it facing the right side of the car. So I'll do that everywhere and keep it facing the same way. That way I get a consistent reading throughout the entire jig and I don't have to worry about, oh, get halfway through something and put the protractor on a different way. And oh, wow, I didn't level the table that way. So it just creates headaches later on down the road. So uh, we have a, a little bit older video going over the whole table. Uh, it has grown a section since then though. So uh, now we have everything to do, full strut front, all that, which we could do before, but it was a little bit harder because we had to swap clamps around and stuff. So now it can be all on one, never have to take it off, never have to do any flipping, any of that. It all stays where we put it and it's good to go. Yeah, it's uh, like I said, it's all level, it's all set up. I know it doesn't look like there's a whole bunch of clamps on here, but so these are for the inner frame rails. So <clears throat> number one bar is gonna be right here. And then the frame rails are gonna come in and they'll have a bend in them to give clearance for like transmission and all that. So that's why these are further in and then those clamps are further out. It's a full strut for an end. So uh, the lower frame rails are gonna go all the way forward. And then our back half jig, saw that before if you've seen any of our older stuff, but uh, this is all set up. We pre pretty much keep all of our back halves pretty consistent. So all of these end up in the same location. We can just move this whole thing front to back. Sometimes the height of this changes, so we gotta change this, but usually we try and keep all of our back half stuff the same dimensionally. That way we can just leave this jig alone all we have to do is position it on the table front to back, depending on how long the wheelbase of the car is. Other than that, uh, yeah, this thing's pretty much set up, good to go. Um, this will be the one time it's not level. But... Hey, look at that, all zeros. So yeah. And then to level it, uh, it's on casters so we can roll it around. So to level it, we just uh, jack it up and put pieces of material under it. You know, usually it's pieces of aluminum, different thicknesses, just because obviously concrete isn't level. It's hard to keep concrete, it's hard to get level concrete. So uh, you're always gonna end up having to play with it a little bit. But yeah, pretty much, uh, pretty much it, I'm good to go. Uh, I've got a center line marked along this whole thing. It's probably really hard to see on camera. But I've got that set up. So that when we turn our laser on, I can position it and get it set up. And then as we're doing the chassis, you can kind of look up here, it's easier to see. Uh, we'll have a center line going down the whole chassis and that's why it's one of the reasons it's so important to have the table level is 
the laser has a little, I guess you'd call it a gyro or something, I'm not really sure, but it will self-level itself. So if the table isn't completely level, then when the laser levels itself, you're gonna have a line that's essentially going crooked, even though the line's going straight, the table's crooked, and you'll end up building the chassis at a angle, and that's no good. So that's why it's so important to have the table completely level. So yeah, then we'll have our, like I said, we'll have our center line along the whole thing. That way when it's built, we can keep everything centered, all the back half stuff, we'll measure, make sure everything is off of center line, that keeps everything straight, square, and we'll be good to go. Thank you.